Hello everyone. I am Suzy, a dental student. But you know what? I find difficulty in oral pathology subject. Now I don't know how to study that vast subject. Let's find some solution. Oh wow! everyone myself dr surbe sahani and you are watching dr surbe sahani dental series and medical videos channel and welcome back to my channel let's talk about that how to study the oral pathology and in this video i'm going to cover another important topic of oral pathology so stay tuned with my video till the end first of all how to study the oral pathology you need to study the topic in certain headings like for example first you have to learn the introduction of that particular topic followed by its clinical feature radiographic feature histological features followed by the incidence or the prevalence and the last one is the treatment of that disease or that tumor right so in this sub headings you have to learn the topic of oral pathology there are the videos which are already out regarding the oral pathology best way to learn the classification followed by the how to prepare for the university exam if you are talking about the oral pathology subject so don't forget to check out these two videos i will definitely put the link of these two videos in the i button as well as in the description of this video but today i'm going to talk about the benign and the malignant tumors of oral cavity so first of all we start with the benign tumors of oral cavity and the first tumor is the squamous papilloma again as a name suggests squamous papilloma papilloma that means it is associated with the papilloma virus so the main virus involved in this tumor is the human papilloma virus 6 and 11 are associated with this tumor although the causative agent or the causative area is the skin warts but it also found in the oral mucous membrane or the oral mucosa yes if we consider that there are 1000 people then every fourth people will have this tumor that is the squamous papilloma right so therefore this tumor constitute 3 to 4% of the total soft tissue oral lesions that means it constitute 3 to 4% oral soft tissue lesions most important part that whether it is very infective or not see benign tumors are not so infective in nature right they are at the initial stage not in a malignant form not injurious so much but yes if we talk about the squamous papilloma it is having the extremely low virulence and the infectivity rate squamous papilloma clinically and microscopically indistinguishable from the another lesion that is verruca vulgaris and the second one is the viral induced focal papillary hypoplasia of the epidermis if we talk about the clinical feature of the squamous papilloma it is found to be having a numerous projection finger like projection which will result in the cauliflower like appearance right it is painless and usually white in color but sometime it may be found as pink in color also the well circumscribed pedunculated tumor right so that's why it is also having the pattern of cauliflower like lesion or the cauliflower like surface clinically it is having the exophytic growth finger like projection as i said earlier intra orally it is found on the tongue lips gingiva buccal mucosa palate and the area which is near to the uvula as i said before that it is indistinguishable to the verruca vulgaris so let me tell you a little bit about the verruca vulgaris also so it is uncommon in oral cavity but it is the most common in skin yes verruca vulgaris having the another name that is common warts it is found to be uncommon in oral cavity but it is extremely common over the skin 
it involves the hands or the fingers. If we talk about the viruses which are associated with the Viruca vulgaris, then definitely the human papilloma virus is involved, but there is the difference. The human papilloma virus 2, 4 and 40 is involved with the Viruca vulgaris. If we talk about the clinical feature of the Viruca vulgaris, then it shows the pointed surface projection which are white in color due to the presence of the keratin but it shows a very narrow stalk like projections, right? It is found to be rapidly increased in the size that to more than 5 mm in diameter and it is mostly occur on the lips and occasionally found intraorally. Mainly it involves the skin. He hands me mil sakta hai, lips tak mil sakta hai, lekin isse aage aapko intraorally iska present hona bhot mushkil hai, kyunki ye mainly skin ko involve karta hai, ye iska key feature hai. Isi ki wajah se ye differentiate hota hai from the squamous papilloma. Reference aata hai involvement of the viruses, joh mainne aapko already bataya. कि स्क्वामस पेपिलोमा ह्यूमन पेपिलोमा वायरस 6 एंड 11 इन्वॉल्वड है जबकि विरुका वल्गेरिस में ह्यूमन पेपिलोमा वायरस 2 4 एंड 40 इन्वॉल्वड है जो कि सब टाइप्स है विरुका वल्गेरिस का नेचर है कि उसका साइज जो है वो इंक्रीज हो सकता है लेकिन स्क्वामस पेपिलोमा में एसएच कोई साइज इंक्रीज की टेंडेंसी ही नहीं है विरुका वल्गेरिस इज सीन इन दोस पीपल आल्सो हु डू द फिंगर सर्किंग और द फिंगर नेल बाइटिंग आल्सो राइट right? तो उनके लिप्स पे आपको विरुका वल्गेरिस होने के चांसेस ज्यादा है और उन पेशेंट्स में आपको विरुका वल्गेरिस दिख भी सकता है लिप्स पे अनदर फीचर रिगार्डिंग द स्क्वामस पेपिलोमा दैट पेपिलोमा यूजुअली हैव अ पेपिलोमेटस लीजंस एंड दैट्स व्हाई इट इज आल्सो नोन एज पेबली लीजंस सो देयर आर टू अपीयरेंस और द टू थिंग्स व्हिच आर एसोसिएटेड विद द स्क्वामस पेपिलोमा one, it is the cauliflower-like lesion and second one, it is the pebbly lesions, right? If we talk about the syndrome associated with the squamous papilloma, that yes, there is one syndrome which is associated with the squamous papilloma, that is the Cowden syndrome. It is the autosomal dominant disease which are associated with the facial trichelomonas along with the association of the GIT, CNS, thyroid and mucoskeletal abnormalities followed by the lesions. It is found to be the cutaneous marker of the breast cancer. Let's talk about the histological feature of the squamous papilloma. Histologically, there is only two things. One, there is the numerous layer of the stratified squamous epithelium first. Second, there is the line and the extension of the spinous cells in the epidermis. Third, there is the presence of the coleocytes which are nothing, just the epidermal cell which are infected by the human papilloma virus. And there is the presence of a very long thin projections, finger like projections are there which are extending above the surface of the mucosa. So that's all about the histological feature of the squamous papilloma. Followed by the treatment of the squamous papilloma is just a simple treatment that we have to do the excision of that particular part which is having the squamous papilloma. So that's all about the first tumor of benign tumor of oral cavity that is the squamous papilloma. If you want the notes regarding this topic you can contact me by any of the mode. Either you can drop me the mail which is shown on your screen. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram ID which is shown on your screen. If you want to check out the oral pathologies video, then do check out. There is the separate playlist which is present on my YouTube channel. Go and just check out the oral pathology playlist. And don't forget to hit the like button to this video followed by don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new on my channel and press the bell icon so that you can have the notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.